Hi guys, so I just unboxed the Canon M50 mirrorless camera and I wanted to give you my first impressions, so stick around. So I just took this thing out of the box a few minutes ago, turned it on, made sure it was in 4K and started shooting video. I wanted to show you how easy it was to use right from the get-go. I basically have a screen that's flipped around. I can look at myself right now as I walk along and see exactly how my framing is, how my lighting is, and how I look. Let me show you what this looks like from the other side. So this is my setup from the other direction. I attached the mic to the hot shoe, which is great that this has a hot shoe. Set it up on a Gorillapod so I can handhold it, and I'm just shooting away. It's nice and light, it's very easy to handhold like this. And one of the best things is the face tracking technology that basically tracks my face as I walk along here. I can move in and out from both sides of the frame and the focus is gonna stay on me. I can move closer, I can move further away and it's gonna keep focus on me the whole time. You know, I had bought the original uh, Canon EOS M, the first mirrorless camera, uh, maybe four or five years ago when it came out. And I didn't love the way it felt. I didn't love the very, you know, entry level consumer point and shoot feel that it had to it. And this new M50 has a similar feel. It's very small and lightweight. It doesn't feel substantial. But so far it seems to have a lot of the features of the big cameras and suggest the possibility of the performance of the really big DSLR, so that's very encouraging. Now this is a crop sensor camera, um, so the sensor size is much smaller than the big DSLRs that we use. And I got this really just for shooting video, just like Bill did. But I'm really looking forward to using it and seeing what the possibilities of these mirrorless cameras are. There's so many new possibilities and it's a relatively new system, so it has a lot of catching up to do, but it's gonna be very interesting to see where this new technology goes. But so far for video, I can tell you it's definitely a home run. We're gonna be doing a huge comparison between this, some other full frame mirrorless cameras, and the big Canon and Nikon DSLRs to see the kind of image quality we get. Because in the end, we're really still photographers to see what kind of image quality we get out of the still photographs between all these different technologies. And we'll share that with you as soon as we have some real world results. Thanks for following me on this little walk in the woods to try out the new camera. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel, click on that little notification bell. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.